going to I'm married to an alien line I believe in New Orleans Louisiana hello hello there are you yes. oh you are there okay good Oh, I'm sorry. I was talking to you for uh, for a second, but you must not have heard me. I was talking to myself over here. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Uh, you're in the New Orleans area, right? Yes. Married yes, married to an alien for real? Yes, I actually am. Okay. All right. Let's let's go through this. I mean, when did you realize that your wife was, well, one of them? Okay. Well, you see, here's the thing. Um, you, you, you don't really, okay, she, it's not like I married a gray alien from the sky that she crash landed oh, and it was like, easy I know, I know, know oh, I know, listen, yeah. uh, according yeah. to Dr. Jacobs, they look absolutely normal. Well, this is, here's the thing, um, this is more normal, not, not the whole Marion part, I mean, well, that's normal too. But there's there's a lot. Most, I'd say about three percent of the population, more or less, is you are you know tares or aliens. You know, it it's it's been going on forever. Art and the fact of the matter is that I ended up marrying one, and I found out after the fact. After the fact, I mean, I, in other words, you you think she jail. she was converted after you married her? Well, here's the thing. She's very. She's, she's nice. Um, I'm not going to say my wife's name, Cynthia. No, don't. Sorry. Well, you just said it. Gosh. Okay. Anyway. Do you want to, do you want to terminate else? this call before you get in trouble? No, no, no. All right. Then she's, tell me about her. Okay. okay. Here's the thing. She is a person. She acts like a person. She, you know, she, she's a hardworking woman. She has a great job. She is a person. Thing in a matter fact of the matter is is the type of alien she is um her species sends people sends people <laughs> sends their their kind i'm trying to say the right nomenclature down to earth and basically in human form but spiritually and it's not like appearance wise but spiritually the soul the brain the inner workings the inner tubing, if you will, that's all alien. The inner tubing? That is what you I said. Don't right? get, I, uh, you don't have to get any more saying. graphic uh, than that. Yeah. Uh, the inner tubing. Uh, yeah. be, okay. Wow. You know, uh, I'm trying to speak radio lingo. I'm starting to get yeah. scared. Inner, inner, yikes. Yes, but this... Don't don't give me any more on that. I've been, that's enough. <laughs> okay. They're not here to invade the planet. They're not here. It was basically to originally to save their species. You've heard about the alien abductions where, you know, people were abducted and guys, you know, their seed was taken from them and stuff like that, and it was to help save the species. Well, this was the same. This was another route to help save the species. The only difference is it started out as an experiment, and then, of course, once you have people here, once you have the aliens here, mm. they begin to breed, they begin to populate, yes. the bloodline goes down. I mean, Art, you might have alien blood in your veins, for all we know. And I know my son does, and my son is looks just like me and not like her. But well, he, you, I, I mean, that. you would have to say your son certainly has alien blood in his veins, right? She is half alien. Her mother is a human being. Her mother was actually born in uh, Oahu, Hawaii. Her father... Sounds like the president's story. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Her father is just like her. (laughs) Yes. You know, alien on the inside, human on the outside. Right. But her uncle and I believe her grandmother, who I haven't met, um, is actually from um, another dimension. I Another can't dimension. even pronounce the name. Okay, how does this, if, if, if you don't mind, how does this manifest in your wife? What is it you notice about your wife that makes you even believe this? She bleeds green. I, I, she does what? She bleeds green. She bleeds green? Yeah, oh yeah. Yes. Like light green? Dark green? Shocking green? Or like, uh... It's like uh, the the baby food green color, you know. Oh God, Gerber green. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to. Uh, 
So that's why I tell her not to pick uh, roses with thorns and stuff. You don't want the green blood coming from the fingers and stuff. Oh. Yeah. I asked her, and I joke around all the time. I asked her, Well, that's no joke. That's no well, joke. I joke around. I joke around and ask her if she could take me back to her home planet. You know, it's it, it's it's no joke. It ends up in fights all the time. And, I'm sure, uh, it does. And I mean, I don't even know if she has a birth control. I mean, even by saying this right Maybe now, she doesn't even need it. Well, yeah, she does. I mean, you've got a son, right? It is by her. I know. I, I mean, if Trump becomes president, he hears I'm actually not uh, actually married to an illegal alien from outer space. Who knows what he's going to do? You know. <laughs> Well, uh, I'll tell you this, you'll have to fill out one hell of a lot of paperwork. Well, look, here's the thing. Um, it's hard enough uh, getting my bride here from the Philippines. You, you try it from another planet or galaxy, and any idea where she's from, by the way? Um, it, it's way, at the star system, way, way, way out. You know the, um, oh God, what's that one star called? The, the big red one. Uh, Mars. Canis Majoris. Oh, that's a star. Majoris. I'm sorry. Uh, it's so even past Alpha Centauri, way out there. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, all right. So I've done a lead line, but but bleed green, my God. This is Midnight in the Desert. I'm Art Bell. Can you imagine that? Gerber Green. <laughs> ah, from the high desert, it just keeps coming.